Hey, it's Becky from Patchwork Posse. Today, I thought I would give you a quick update on my design wall. So I had thrown up um, some batting and then a design wall flannel or felt right on top of it and just kind of pinned it to my wall. And I've done a little upgrade and I thought I would show you how you can do this. It's very flexible on the sizes. You don't need a truck to haul around um, the big foam board back to your sewing room and you can make some adjustments while you are building this. So let's take a look at what I used. Okay, as you can see, I've got all of this curly paper because I have been cutting away. So the first thing I did was I took my felt squares and the ones that I bought were 12 inch by 12 inch. But I was able to find one that was 12 inch by 12 inch, which in the quilting world, it's a little bit easier. And it is the perfect size when you put these together for the for the design wall felt. All of the products that I use for the design wall are in the description. So check that out. The first thing I did was all of these boards come with um, a sticky. And so they are... 100% sticky on one side. So this is kind of the felt side. What I did notice about this is it's compressed. It's not fuzzy at all. It is compressed. Um, and the thickness is, you know, it's okay. So I was really happy with, with how this turned out. So the back side is all sticker. I didn't want to put this whole thing on my wall and stick it all to my wall. So what I did was use my ruler and my rotary cutter. Don't kill me, but I did use my rotary cutter. And I cut an inch and a half from the edge in. I measured an inch and a half from the edge and I took my rotary and I just, you push hard and you can hear it click in. You do not have to push very hard on this, okay? So you don't want to cut the felt, you're just cutting the paper. So I didn't go all the way to the edge because I'm coming in an inch and a half again and making another cut line. So you just push it down a little bit till you hear that cut the paper and then you move your rotary cutter It does not have to be perfect. In fact, if you don't want to use your rotary cutter and you kind of kind of eyeball it, that is fine too. Next thing you're going to do is just peel up one of these papers. Make sure you don't grab the sticky underneath because that can peel up as well. And you are just going to peel this. Now you're just going to continue peeling this around all four sides and after you have this all peeled, you just take this to the wall and stick it in place. Now, I wanted to show you what my design wall looks like now. So don't mind the messy countertops here. Um, but I love it so much better than what I had before. Now, if you want, um, you could use a spray adhesive on the back of the felt design wall. I didn't, it came right to the edge. And, um, you know, you can kind of pull on this as well and push it over. This is what it looks like. If I peel this back, here are my squares and my design wall flannel is just pushed right up against it and it sticks really well. Now, the reason I changed um, my design wall is because I really wanted the thickness and so I kept stabbing my wall. It wasn't very thick and um, it, when you walked by, it kind of was floppy and stretched out and I didn't love that. And so um, having these felt boards on the back really does help um, keep it nice and flat. I think I'm going to put some pins right along the top edge 
to make sure that the flannel on top doesn't, or the fleece on top doesn't um, fold down. So far, it sticks really well. Like I said, you could use a spray adhesive if you wanted. So for my design wall, I did seven um, squares across the top, and then I did six squares down the side. So it's a six by seven. Along the bottom edge was just a little bit longer than my boards. I I just folded those up, and they the fold stuck to the um, stuck to the board just fine, and so it just looks better than a wavy a wavy edge. I did buy two packages for this, and so this was the size that was perfect for that um, cover that I have. I believe I have three squares left, which I can use by my computer. Also, I wanted to share the pins. So these are perfect. They're tiny little pins. I did think about thumbtacks and stuff, but the pin part was so thick it would poke holes into the fabric and I didn't really like that so I picked up these pins and the link for that is in the description as well and they are perfect they're not they're very uh they're a good size pin so it'll hold your stuff in nicely um but they're not too thick and they they shouldn't stab your wall unless you're really pushing super hard into that so that's a look at my design wall. It has, I haven't used it for very many days yet, but I am excited to have it look a little better, not be so floppy and flimsy. It's got a little bit of thickness on the backside, so I don't end up poking the wall if I do use pins. It's repositionable a little bit, so if um, when I was putting it up, I could move them around if I needed but I really do like how it turned out.